Hi, uh, good day. This is Corey Cox. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to uh, compress your pictures and make them small enough that they can be easily emailed. Uh, it's quite often we have somebody step in for us and they go take some photos, take some data for us, and we need to have it sent and we can't physically get together and we end up emailing all these photos. And uh, quite often the photos are too big for email and you have to break them up and you spend an hour, two hours, three hours editing and moving folders and photos around so that you can actually email them. So there's a really quick couple of minutes, a uh, couple of steps to do that you can make these a lot easier to send. So to start off with, I've got in here, I got a photos for video and it's got 43, 43 items or 43 photos of a job I just did the other day. Um, what we're going to do is the very first thing you always should do is have your, um, have your photos put in there correct folder so I've already got them already put in a folder for that I want to use next you want to copy and make a um, second set of photos you always want to keep the original so I'm gonna do a control or sorry right click copy right click and paste and it should make me another set of photos alright so here we go I got a copy of them now all right. Inside this, if I open it up and look at how many photos I have, all 43. This is actually pretty easy. I've only got 7.8 megs, so that's not that big a deal. Um, you could actually probably email this by itself already, but for the sake of the video, uh, I'm going to show you how to make this number a lot smaller um, so that you can email them uh, efficiently. So um, I went into my my copy. So we're going to do everything in the copy folder uh, of my my series of photos. Uh, photos. I'm going to right click on any one of these, it doesn't matter, open with, and you want to use the Microsoft Office 2010. Um, all the GE laptops will have this. So Microsoft Office 2010, if it's not in this list, you can get it through the default program and it should show up somewhere in here. Um, if not, call me or Google it and uh, you'll be fine. So anyways, we're going to use the Microsoft Office program. Hit OK and it should open up into this folder here so photo right here and you can actually scroll through all the photos and see what you have and float through them um, but we want to edit these so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this thumbnail view which will actually show you all the photos that were in that folder All right. Um, we're going to then click on any one of them you have two ways to select all you can either hit the control and A buttons it will select all of them at one time or you could right click and now ah, there's actually no select all so control a is the select all button for this so control a works in ev just about every program out there right now um, it selects everything within the screen so you're going to select all go to edit pictures over here you're going to go to compress over here on the right hand side you have resize and compress you want to compress the photos and you're going to compress them to document size don't compress them any smaller than that. Yes, you can make them a lot smaller than that, but you don't. You really should not, um, because if you make them too much smaller, web page, so you might be able to use them depending on how detailed your photos are. You wouldn't want to web page compress the uh, linear photos. You wouldn't be able to see them very well. Um, but documents or web pages, uh, preferably documents, and you're going to hit OK. Um, once this goes, it's just you just hit OK. It doesn't look like anything happened, but then you can hit the Save button, and it should save them all. Now we have changed all of these photos to 4.29 meg. If I go back over here um, into the Photos for Video Copy, uh, if I select everything and hit Properties, I'm now down to 4.29 meg. Originally we started at 6. Um, let's say we want to make it a little bit smaller because we have a lot of photos. You really shouldn't make them much smaller, but you can do it again. Um, Control A, go you and select web pages. Now it's going to go from 4.29 meg to 1.39. I hit OK, and then up here, Control or hit Save. Sometimes it'll flicker a little bit when it's really compressing a lot, um, and then you made them a lot smaller. So let's go back here to the photos for video copy. If I select all the photos properties. Um, we're at 1.87 megabit now. We started at six and a half or so. So the, the big thing that happens is you notice that the photos are a lot smaller now on my screen when I open them up, um, which is really what it does. 
So sometimes you can do this and it'll be perfectly fine um, and you'll be able to read them just fine. But if the reason you want to make sure you have that raw, that raw folder of all the originals that you didn't mess with, just in case you compress these too small, you cannot undo it. Um, so anyways, now that I got these all compressed, I can make them nice and small. Uh, I'm going to actually make them emailable. Um, you don't want to have to go through and select every single one of these photos and email them one at a time or group of them at a time. The whole point is to make this efficient. So you're going to go back to the root or where you actually have the folder at. Uh, photos for video copy. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to send it to a compressed zip folder. And what that does is it compresses them all and puts them into a zip folder so you can send it as one file. Uh, most people know how to do that but just in case you didn't you're gonna make this zip file so now you can actually email this one entire chunk right here as one email. You just emailed now have the ability you just emailed 43 photos in one email um, through the GE network or through whatever network. Um, one thing with GE is you have to have a, you know, you don't have a limit of how many megabits you can send at a time. So that's one of the things you need to know how to do. Uh, makes your life a lot easier. You can send these photos a lot faster. The great thing is um, also is you keep the file names the same as they would be in the originals, which is great because you can create your um, photo slate template. You can create your entire photo report based on the smaller photos. And then if we need a higher resolution, I can just select the original f raw photos and it will actually automatically copy all the originals directly into the photo report and you have a much higher quality photo report um, with no extra work. So it's a nice thing you can have. Uh, so again, that was a short little video on how to uh, put together and compress photos so we can email them throughout the, throughout our, between each other and you can zip them back and forth, no problem. Have a good day.